Hi everybody, so I wanted to talk a bit about mindset and growth and moving forward. Not too long, I'm just going to be short, but I want to challenge us that we should always want to grow. We should never want to stay at the same level that we were five years ago or two years ago. In order to do that, some of the things that we have to do is that we have to surround ourselves with like-minded people as well as surround ourselves with people who have more knowledge than us so that we can learn from them, right? You don't only want to be with people who are at the same level as you. You do want to make sure that you have others in your network that you can learn from and vice versa. They can learn from you as well. Some of the things I want to talk about is, you know, reading the importance of reading. I'm an avid reader. I actually brought some of my books, which I'm really excited to share with you. Um, so some of my books that have really helped me on my journey here. Okay. What you read is kind of what you become, right? The more you read, the more your mind grows and you develop habits, which is, look at this, one of my favorite books, okay? You develop healthy habits. Your mind starts to change. The way you think starts to change. One of the things I want to say to you is that when, you know, when I say that you never should want to stay at the same level that you were at five years ago, understand that there are going to be people that want you to stay at that level that you were five years ago. There are going to be people that are going to discourage you. There are going to be people that are going to question, okay, why are you acting differently? Or why are you reading? Why are you speaking the way you speak? Because you know what, as I look at that, you have to understand how change works, okay? We're always developing. Our minds are developing. We're always developing. The more exposure we have to information resources, the more adapt it becomes within us, right? We become those, the information that we receive, we receive it and becomes embedded in us. And in order for us to grow, we have to be able to state to ourselves that, you know what, this is the area I need to grow in. However, if you don't challenge yourself, if you don't know what area you need to grow in, it's going to be very, very difficult for you to grow in that area. So I want to encourage you self-assessment, self-reflection. Do self-assessment, self-reflection, ask yourself, where do I need to grow? Challenge yourself and say, okay, you know what? I've achieved this this year or last year, say for example, last year, I've achieved this goal last year. This is what I want to achieve in the next three to five years. Write that goal down, make a plan. Do not just have that goal in your mind and think, okay, you know what? I'm going to achieve it by just remembering it. Make sure that you're documenting that goal somewhere, right? If it's that you want to grow in a specific area, make sure that you're documenting that goal so that you can grow. How do you grow in that specific area? You need to make sure that you're writing a smart goal or a smarter goal, a goal that can be revised, right? Surround yourself again with positive people, positive people who can feed you positive information, not people who are going to put you down with negativity, negative words, you know, a c constructive feedback is really different than negative feedback, right? Constructive feedback is feedback that helps you to grow. And in doing that constructive feedback, it supports you at the same time. So be careful with who you are, you have in your network, right? That's very important. So again, I want to challenge you for 2022, have the mindset of growth, okay? Document how you want to grow, what area you want to grow in. Challenge yourself. If you have to take a course, right? If you have to connect with a group, a sem go to a seminar to learn some new information. Um, I don't know, watch some YouTube videos. I don't know what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to really assess your life, right? Do some self-reflection, write it down. Habits. This is one of the books that I'm reading right now, which is really, really good. There's a lot of information in here. I'm learning a lot from this, um, from reading this book. And, you know, I've read a lot of books, as I mentioned before, Living with Intent. This book really taught me how to be intentional in what I do. Um, again, not just doing things for the sake of doing things, teaching me that it's okay to say no to things that I know that do not align with my values or align with where I believe God is leading me. Growth mindset. Growth mindset is very, very important. It talks about having a growth mindset compared to having a fixed mindset. One of my favorite books, as you can see, all my tabs. <laughs> so I have a lot of tabs here. This book really challenges you. It says one month to live, right? So, right, knock on wood, yeah, right? one month to live. But if you had one month to live, what are all the things that you would want to do within that one month? This is what this book really talks about. And in talking about that, you know, it really challenges you to want to 
achieve the goals that you have, right? It talks about the sometimes syndrome where you say, okay, someday, sometimes I'm going to achieve that. But what is it that we can do now? So this book really talks about what we can do now. What is What steps can we take now, today? to bring us one step closer to the goals or the, the dreams that we have. So again, this is one of my favorite, favorite books that I really enjoyed reading. I think I read it at least twice because I found it very, very, very beneficial for me. So I want to challenge you to read as much as you can. If you, if you don't like reading, basically um, listen to a podcast or listen to the audio of a book. The Power Focus, this book was really good as well. My brother gave me this book and it really helped me to hone in on my focus. What is my focus? What are the things that I want to achieve? But how do I focus in on those things instead of being distracted with other things? So that was really good. Um, the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, um, bestseller, again, one of the best books that are out there. Um, I strongly recommend this book. It was a powerful book and I started reading this during the pandemic and it literally changed my life, changed my thinking, just overall changed the way how I see things. So again, these are just some of my many books that I have because reading is a part of who I am and I grow through reading. So that's why I engage in reading. I tried doing the audiobooks. I'm not there yet. I prefer to have a book where I can hold in my hand and I can highlight. I can basically write my notes on the side. I can have my post-it notes and I'll open up the book and show you like what I'm talking about, like literally. This is my book, right? Like I go through and I literally like highlight my book. Let's see. Let's see what else I have here. I have my notes. So, and I apply these things to my life, right? I go through and I apply these things to my life. Like I write my, my post-it notes there. So this is how, for me, I learn this way. Um, I'm, you know, basically it helps me when I go through my books. Let me see another one. So I have placed my notes again. These are my notes. These are my books that I've read, right? I've read many books. Um, I highlight, I apply to my life. I ask myself, what is, the, what is the purpose of me reading this? What does God expect me to get from this reading? One of the things I want to say that sometimes um, we think that we don't need to read um, books or I can say as I speak to, um, you know, just overall, if you don't read, watch documentaries, right? Find a way to learn. There are so many things out there, so many resources. Just find a way to grow because as long as we are alive, right, we're supposed to be growing. None of us know enough. We don't know enough if we wouldn't be here if we, or we said, you know, our learning is done. That's it. I got all the knowledge that I have that I need. No, there's always something to learn. Okay, there's always something to learn every day, I think, is a learning opportunity. And you really have to see things like that as we move forward in 2022. I want to encourage you again, network, surround yourself with positive people, right? People who can help you to grow. How are you going to grow? Ask yourself that question. What area in my life do I need to grow? You may have to do self-reflection, like I said before. Join a group, a support group. Join, um, I don't know, find a community group that can support you. Find a reading club. I know for me personally, I created a reading, a reading group where we go through books and we read those books um, throughout. We've been reading the books um, within the pandemic. And that's really been very helpful because not only are you reading the book, but you're sharing ideas, you're kind of bouncing ideas, you're challenging each other. And you're also, it's having that accountability with a partner as well. So that's some of the things that I wanted to share with you today. Um, have a blessed day. Again, challenge yourself to grow. It is important that you continue to grow, that I continue to grow, and I access resources and information that can help me to grow professionally and personally. So take care. And until next time, take care.